Starbucks is one of the most recognizable brands on earth. Whether you see someone carrying around a cup with their logo or driving past one on the road with a packed drive-through. However, the company has been going through some turmoil as of late. During the pandemic, the company saw a sizable drop in earnings and even lost money in one quarter. The company was prepared with the Starbucks app, which is the leader in the food industry. They were an early innovator in rewards programs, ordering online, pickup, etc. However, the company lost something in that time, which was the culture within many of its stores. This is something that the longtime Starbucks CEO, Howard Schultz, had to say. He identified this trend away from hospitality as being a major issue in the company. And many investors who cover the company say Starbucks has been missing a leadership in their corporate culture. So much so that Howard Schultz came back as CEO in March 2022, leaving in March of 2023 after one year. However, after a poor recent quarter, the stock has plunged, leading many to question whether the new CEO can handle the Starbucks company. However, for investors like me, this crash in Starbucks stock may be one of the best buying opportunities for the company in a decade. So today I'm going to analyze Starbucks as a business and look into their stock financials to see whether or not it's a good buy in 2024. The company has historically been a dividend growth machine, which is great for those of us who like dividends. And their current 3% starting dividend yield may be a great time to get into the stock. So with that said, let's roll the intro and jump into this stock analysis. My name is Zach, this is Dividend Data, and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. If you want to try out the stock research tool I'm using throughout the video, then sign up at DividendData.com. I just released a major update to improve the stock screener. This includes things like future earnings estimates, price targets, an overvalued and undervalued rating, analyst grades on the stocks, and visual distributions of those grades. Other things like a dividend snapshot, which gives you a full picture look of everything you need to know about the company's dividend. Additionally, I added a segments page where you can see revenue by product category and geographic region. And again, this is just the start. I'm always working on new updates and improvements. So here we have Starbucks stock, ticker symbol SBUX. The current stock price is $74.19. And this is down significantly from the 2021 high of $126 per share. And the reason for this is if we're being generous, earnings have been flat since then, but in reality, there have been many quarters of decline. For example, the recent earnings that reported in April were not good at all, and the stock has plunged significantly since then. However, I have been using this as a buying opportunity to start my position in Starbucks stock. Over the trailing 12 months, earnings per share is about $3.63, which is a 20.4 PE ratio at the current price. And that's a pretty low multiple for a company with a premium brand like Starbucks, especially since it's historically had pretty high earnings growth and expectations are that that will continue into the future. The current annual dividend payment is $2.28. So at current prices, that's a 3.07% dividend yield. And the company is valued right now at $84 billion. So why is the stock down? Well, for fiscal 2024, the company was originally projected to be growing earnings in the double digits. However, after the recent quarter, the company lowered guidance to say that it will be basically flat over the year. And currently, analysts are projecting earnings per share to be down 1.75% in 2024. This is compared to fiscal 2023. Previously, Starbucks was priced as a company that would grow earnings in the double digits every single year. And the reason for that is they historically have had that kind of growth. Revenue per share has grown at a 12.24% 10-year compound annual growth rate. Over the past three years, it's actually been a 16% compound annual growth rate. Again, net income per share has had historically high growth. However, we're starting to get a little bit of that story for why the stock price has been flat and declining as of late. The five-year compound annual growth rate of net income per share is only 1.94%. Free cash flow per share has grown at a 10.63% 10-year compound annual growth rate. So the main question with Starbucks is whether or not this historic growth will continue into the future. Currently, analysts are estimating that in 2025, earnings per share will grow 17.29%. So analysts are projecting growth to re-accelerate. They're actually expecting this well into the future with 14.59% growth in 2026, 
5.58% in 2027 and 12.19% in 2028. This is accomplished, that will give the company a 13P ratio in 2028 based on current prices. And the current consensus analyst price target on Starbucks stock is $106.35. That makes the company 43.35% undervalued at current prices. In fact, the lowest price target available from analyst is $75, which is above the current stock price of $74.19. The high price target is $136. So based on this, it actually seems like Starbucks may be a steal at current prices. They currently have a consensus of a buy rating with 63.3% of analysts saying it's a buy and 30% saying hold. However, you should not blindly trust analysts as there are risks associated with Starbucks stock. For example, their debt has been increasing significantly over the past decade. This has led to negative shareholder equity and net debt has grown to $22 billion. That said, they do generate significant cash flow and have $3.2 billion in cash on hand. So where is this debt coming from? The company in 2023 generated $6 billion in cash from operations and $3.68 billion in free cash flow. They spent $2.33 billion on capital expenditures, which went into building new stores and renovating old ones. Most Starbucks stores are company owned at this point. Of that free cash flow, they paid out $2.43 billion of dividends and just under $1 billion of share repurchases. Historically, the company has had massive money allocated to share repurchases, while at the same time investing a ton into opening new stores across the globe. And this was done with overspending through debt. Now, this is commonplace in many industries, and the company argues that they get great returns on these new stores. For example, the return on capital employed for Starbucks in fiscal 2023 was just under 30% which is great. And I was listening to an interview a while back where I'm pretty sure that the new CEO had said that in some regions, a uh, return on capital for new store openings could be as much as 40%. So with that understanding, it makes sense why the company can rationalize their heavy investment into stores. However, there's no question the balance sheet of Starbucks has gotten weaker because of this action in the short term. And it does make you question whether the company can continue to grow shareholder rewards, such as dividends and share repurchases, at the same level they were in the past. In my opinion, I do think share repurchases are going to stop or slow down significantly over the next couple of years. I also think that dividend growth will slow a little bit. It already is starting to. Historically, the Starbucks dividend has grown at a 15.93% 10-year compound annual growth rate. However, the three-year CAGR is only 8.2%, and the most recent dividend increase was 7.55%. And we will know what the next Starbucks dividend increase will be in September. Now, the Starbucks dividend is a quarterly payer. Current payout ratio based on earnings per share is 58% and 66% based on free cash flow per share. And his Historically, the dividend has always been in a sustainable range, but we're starting to get to a upper limit of this free cash flow payout ratio. It's still very sustainable, but the company will need to continue growing earnings and cash flows in the future for this dividend growth to continue. Now, analysts are projecting that, and I'm sure Starbucks internally has that as their goal as well. And if they do, then this may be a great buying opportunity. This 3.07% dividend yield, this is actually the highest historical dividend yield for Starbucks stock ever. So from the standpoint of a dividend investor, this is a great time to buy. Personally, I think 2024 may be the best time to buy Starbucks stock in the past decade. I think the brand is still incredibly valuable and it will continue to grow long term. This brand allows Starbucks to have historically higher margins than any other coffee chain in the business. They also have a large opportunity in creating consumer products, like their partnership with PepsiCo to create those ready to drink Starbucks cans that you will see in grocery stores and convenience stores. And if we look how Starbucks revenue is broken up, 60% is from beverage, 18% is from food, and 21% from other. The key is going to be they make sure they have that in-store experience and the app ordering, keep it extremely strong for beverages as that is the core business, but then continue to find and add other high quality things that they can sell along considering they already have this large traffic and distribution. They've already been doing that with food and these other products, and continuing to grow that will be very important. Geographically, 73% of Starbucks revenue comes from the United States, and there may be slightly less growth potential in terms of opening new stores in the United States, 
Their international segment is expected to grow significantly and they are investing heavily in it. That is actually where they're seeing some of their largest returns on capital. The company also has 8% of their revenue coming from China, which depending on how foreign relations go, that could be a good growth opportunity long term as well. In conclusion, I do think Starbucks is a good stock to add to your long term dividend growth stock portfolio. It is very undervalued based on analyst projections. The current valuation is one of the lowest you could get for a high quality company like Starbucks. However, the balance sheet is the worst it has been in recent decades. And there are questions around execution and whether or not these high growth rates can be obtained. Luckily, the lower valuation takes into account these risks and you're not paying a premium for that. Starbucks is the newest position in my dividend growth stock portfolio and I have been buying over the past month. I now have 21 shares at a cost per share of $74.09. And if you want to see my watch list and current portfolio at any times, it is available on dividenddata.com under the R Stock Picks page. Please leave a comment below if you're buying Starbucks or if I missed something in this analysis that you think is important to know. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stock review videos and my portfolio update. Sign up for dividenddata.com to use my stock research tool and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.